Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the Phanozoic Eon. The Phanozoic Eon consisted of three eras. The Paleozoic Era, which was 545 million years ago. The Mesozoic Era, which was 250 million years ago and the Cenozoic Era, which was 65 million years ago. So let's take a look at some highlights of the Phanozoic Eon on the geologic timescale. The Paleozoic Era lasted between 544 to 245 million years ago. Paleozoic means ancient life and is part of the Phanozoic Eon along with the Cenozoic and Mesozoic eras. Let's hit some highlights of this era. Early during the Paleozoic era, trilobites, echinoderms, and other marine invertebrates such as coral dominated the ocean. Jawless fish also lived during this era. Eventually sharks and other bony fish began to appear. However, as time passed, life did not remain in the sea. Land plants began to appear such as ferns and some trees later in this era. Life was also crawling out of the ocean. The first vertebrates appeared. Among these vertebrates was a tetrapod, which was a vertebrate that could live on land. Other vertebrates would appear including snakes and crocodiles, reptiles and insects would scatter throughout the world and amphibians would appear. The supercontinent Rodinia broke apart early in this area, era, but by the end of the area, the supercontinent Pangaea was formed. So there we go, the Paleozoic is part of the Phanerozoic Eon, along with the Paleozoic and Cenozoic eras. Mesozoic means middle animals and is a time of rapid change. The era has also been called the age of reptiles and the age of dinosaurs. The Mesozoic era was roughly 65 million to 250 million years ago. Let's hit a several highlights of this era. The Mesozoic era began after a mass extinction. The shape of the continents looked different. At the beginning of this era, there was a supercontinent called Pangaea. Over time, this supercontinent broke apart and the continents started drifting apart. The climate was warmer than today. The first mammals appear, but are very small, and they don't begin to thrive until the Cenozoic era. Dinosaurs also appear, and they begin to scatter and prosper. The dinosaur population peaks during this era. However, at the end of this era, the dinosaurs die off. The first birds appear and begin to scatter throughout the world. The dominant plant are cone-bearing trees and plants. And at the end of this era, flowering plants begin to appear. So there we go, the Mesozoic Era. Dinosaurs the Mesozoic Era is the most recent era and is part of the Phanerozoic Eon, along with the Paleozoic and Mesozoic Eras. The Cenozoic Era lasted roughly 65 million years. It is often described as the age of mammals, but could also be called the age of flowering plants or the age of insects. Let's hit several highlights of this era. Although the first mammals appear in the Mesozoic era, they begin to thrive during the Cenozoic era and spread throughout the world. Birds become much more diverse and also spread throughout the world. Flowering plants also thrive and also spread throughout the world. With these flowering plants, insects can also thrive, and they prosper. Apes and humans also appear. During this era, the earth is cooler, and ice ages occur, along with the formation of glaciers. The continents have moved into their modern location, and several mountain ranges, including the Alps, Himalayas, and the Rocky Mountains, are formed. So there we go. An exciting time, the Cenozoic era. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.